Hey, buddy. Good morning. Had a great night last night. Ooh, it rained a little bit. <laughs> and uh, I think it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to be a good day today. And then it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day. So. And then the two days after that will be nice. So. Good and bad. So, last night I stayed at the Bald Hill Shelter and it was nice. I was all by myself. And the water just had a little a little hole that you had to scoop out of, which was kind of lame. But it still had water. Still haven't seen moose yet. So... Hopefully today's the day. This is the trail. Not too bad. Since I since I did such a big day yesterday, I think I did like a 24 mile day or something, trying to make up for that short day that I had when I stayed at Stark Village Inn. That was only like a 12 mile day. So I tried to make up for it yesterday, which I did. And so now the rest of the trip was gonna be fairly, knock on wood, fairly easy, I think, because I just have um, smaller days to put in. And hopefully I'll be able to enjoy it a little bit more. So, going good so far, great morning. One of the questions are, Nobby, what do you eat on the trail? Oh, look at that. Huh. That's a nice find. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. That mountain there, the pointy one, that's Percy Peak, South Percy Peak, I think. Just give you a little reference on uh, where I am. I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but it sounds like a jet, but those are wind turbines. See if I can get closer. This is going down. Oh, 
I don't know how I do it. I just zone off or something. I don't know. I uh, got off the trail somehow. So now I've got to take this other way to get back on the trail. Uh, nice trail though. Got off the trail. I'm trying to get back on the trail. I hit right into this area where there's these cliffs all around me. And I gotta try to find to get to the trail to the left somewhere. But I can't go straight up the cliff. How high that is. So I gotta go downhill and hopefully bushwhack to the left, I'm thinking. Top of that ridge line, the road is down there somewhere, I think. If you can see it from here. Yeah. There's that ridge. And there's those uh those windmills. Oh. Back on the trail. This trail sucks. Look at it. Crazy ass trail. Whew. Today we have a little bit of road walking to do. It's gonna to rain today. Last night we stayed at the you know, Coleman State Park and it was real nice, real nice there. Bathrooms and stuff like that. And I uh, woke up to the call of the loons, which was nice. But, uh... <laughs> this dog's barking at me. That was funny. There was a dog, a guy walking his dog. This is like real North Country. And uh guy walking his dog, living out in sticks here. And uh, I look, and he's not just walking his dog, he's walking his two cows. And they're not full-size cows. And he looks at me and he goes, yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be scared of the dog, I'd be scared of the bull. And the bull comes and run up to me. I hold my, I hold my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, my trekking poles out to stop him. And uh, he was just curious. He, he wasn't being mean. He's just curious on who the hell I was. That was pretty funny. So we walked back to. We were walking along down the road, and once we got to his house, the guy's like, "Yeah, he listens pretty good." And he goes, uh, "All right, come get your grain." And then his ears, you know, popped up and. He ran to go get his green, but pretty funny. 
Yeah, today I got a little bit of road walking and I will eventually get to the lakes kind of region, I call it, where the north part is lakes, like the, uh, um, there's a series of like four Connecticut lakes and another lake called Francis or I forget exactly what it's called. And I'm getting there today. I'm getting to the lake region today. And then tomorrow, tomorrow's big. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going, walking by, I think it's called Young's. And it's like a general store, I think. So, maybe we'll grab breakfast there or something. Depending on what time it is. But, yep. The rain's just setting in. It's going to rain for a couple days. And then it'll be nice for a couple days. Give and take. But after the loons were were waking everybody up this morning, the I think it's ravens. They were making all kinds of crazy noises. I didn't even know ravens made. It sounded like originally it sounded like kids making fun of the loons. Actually, it was probably the ravens making fun of the loons. But they're making just crazy, rawr, rawr, you know, crazy-ass <laughs> noises. It sounded like, I honestly thought it was kids in the be beginning. But, nope. Getting on down the trail. In this market, whew, that's 300,000 all day. Hell yeah. Hi guys. How we going? So it was a good day, mostly road walking, which is a bit easier, and then some trail at the end. But when I first started setting up camp here, I heard uh, a moose sound, and so I was real quiet, and I only heard it once. So I'm hoping with uh, with some luck, maybe I'll uh, I'll see some uh, tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. The rain's coming in, so they say it's going to be drenching all day tomorrow. So that should be an adventure. So, gonna make some dinner and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Yeah, right now I just passed six mile view of Francis Lake. And I got kind of a late start today. And I hear some water on the left. It was like a like a big dam or something. And so today is going to be the last real elevation day. Right now I'm on my way to Roger's store. Grab some chow. And then I'll be conquering a couple mountains and staying at the new new Tilson hut 
Probably got that name wrong. <laughs> Something like that. But it should be good. And then tomorrow, I think, is a fairly flat day. And then my last day is just going to be a tiny, a tiny six mile day or something like that. Right now it's not raining. It's, oh, oh, it's supposed to be raining all day today. But you know how that goes. They say it's going to rain. And that covers their, uh, that covers their bases. But I think it's going to be off and on, I think, all day. Can you hear that? Sounds big. I think there's a dam down there. So, enough blah, blah, blah. Time to hit the trail. This is one funny thing I just recognized. Check this out. All pickup trucks. Northern country. Close to the top of Prospect Mountain. On my way to Cobell. Pretty view. This Prospect Mountain and uh, it's very well maintained. We'll see how well the Covell Mountain is. But I, I would think it's going to be about the same. It's very nice. I was thinking that the, the northern section of the Cohas was going to be a bit wild. And we'll see how it is. But so far, it's getting better and better. There are some stretches that are very overgrown. But there is always a trail. So worst comes to worst, after it's been raining, you get soaked from the, uh, the, the weeds on the side, the ferns and stuff that are growing along the trail. But that's no biggie. They dry out quick. But this is beautiful. So I got to the Tilatsen shelter, and it's a brand new shelter, but it says water. I walked down to the river, bone dry. So it's right near a, a road, this road here. So I looked down the road, and if you just walk down the hill like a mile or so, there's a river down here. So. I got here early, got nothing better to do, so just cruise on down.
Good morning. Last day. I think I got a, uh, a five mile hard trek to Fourth Lake, Fourth Connecticut Lake on the Canadian border. It's going to be a tough one. But I was just thinking, actually, I was thinking about it yesterday. A lot of the trails here that you walk through, well, all the trails are owned by private companies. And so, I was walking through a trail and it had been uh, owned by a timber company. And so it, would all, it was all clear cut. And I was noticing that when I was walking through, there was no life anywhere. It was a completely dead zone. I used to think, yeah, trees, no big deal. Hey. No big deal. You know, if they need more trees, it's just plant them. But I guess I didn't really think about the environmental aspects of that and how when you go through and you chop all the trees down you know you're taking away everyone's home and I mean I, I was looking I went the longest time and I still really haven't found them looking for honeybees but uh, in those areas where they cut all the trees down there's nothing I do see moose droppings but I never saw one moose. I think I saw a deer early on in the White Mountains. But uh, in these logging fields, I don't see many deer. I see prints, but I don't see any. Makes you kind of think. All right, enough blabbing for me. Let's get on down trail. Huh. You see trail? I don't see trail yet. Over here. Well, my buddy Eli was doing this trail FKT. He had a picture that I kept dreading of him in neck high weeds. Guess what? I figured out where that was from. Oh my God. So, I lost the trail, and so for a while I've been bushwhacking, which sucks, and I'm hoping to find the trail soon, but I don't know, it's right here somewhere, whoa, man this is painful. A maze. Oh, how did I? How did I get off this? My God. Yeah, here we go. This 
This trail is going around the fourth Connecticut lake and pond. And it's a nice trail. Kept up very nicely. The whole trail, there are certain parts that are real, real rough. There are certain parts that, that volunteers have done an amazing job. And I really want to thank all the volunteers for supplying their time and making this trail so good. It's a, uh, a difficult trail to take care of because it's owned by so many different people. You know, logging companies and it's amazing that it's possible to, uh, to do that. Are we coming up right here? I think right here is the, uh, the Connecticut River, I think. Check it out. Wow. The Connecticut River. Is that it? It's got to be it. It's not so big. I also want to thank everybody that helped me get this trail done. I couldn't have done it without people supplying rides and, and their time. And I really, I'm really thankful for that. <laughs>